Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I am here to continue with my um, uh, matrix track building tutorial. This is part 8 and in here what we are going to do is we are going to create some bell patches. So we're going to create a Thor in there. We are going to solo it so we can hear what it sounds like and um, we are going to use an FM pair for both of them. So we've got two F ampere oscillators. We're going to set the first one to 12 on both the modulator and carrier. And on the second one, we're going to create one that's at 24 on both. We're going to turn the FM down all the way. We're going to turn the octave up to 6 on both. We're going to turn the tuning up to 17. On the first one and minus 17 on the second one. We're going to leave the frequency where it is. We're going to turn the resonance up a little bit, up to about 77 or so. Um, the envelope, we'll turn that up a little. We'll turn this up to there. Okay. Turn the decay down a little. Stain down, release up a bit. Okay, so, um, and now what we'll do is we'll create a matrix, because this is all about matrix track building. Um, we're going to create um, just a few random patterns here. And let's see how that sounds. pretty high pitched right now but what we'll do is we'll create another matrix and this is a trick um, about how you can create an arpeggiator um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to arpeggiate things um, but so we'll take the curve of the second matrix and we'll send that into CV1 flip it around um, let's turn on the delay as well as the chorus Turn the time down to 3 sixteenths. Turn the dry wet up. Turn the dry wet up on the chorus. Turn the delay down to about 3.8 or so. Okay, so it's starting to sound pretty good. Now, this is how you create the arpeggiator. We have the, uh, we don't want the curve, sorry. We want the note to go into CV1 on the Thor. If we turn it around, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn the steps down to six steps. So it's going to be a six step arpeggiator. And uh, what we're going to do under here, under the modulation bus routing, is we're going to take CV input 1, 100 amount, and the destination is going to be the pitch of oscillator 1. Same thing, um, this is going to be the pitch of oscillator 2. So the CV1 is affecting the oscillator 1 pitch and the oscillator 2 pitch. So whatever we program in here, uh, let's see, where do we want to go? Let's do this. And let's see how that sounds. Okay, so that's arpeggiating this. This is playing the notes and the gating, and then this is actually um, the arpeggiator notes. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll program the mixer to switch between the two. But before we do that, Actually, I have to turn it on. OK, 
Okay, so we'll program the mixer to mix between the two. And the way we'll do that is we will edit the automation. So let's turn that off. Let's also edit the automation on this here and edit the automation on this here as well. So now let's go to our main sequencer and on the matrix what we're going to do is we're going to take this we'll move this over just a little bit uh, a little bit more take this whole series move that over to here and we'll copy a one over here so now what we'll do is we'll draw in the notes for our matrix two and three and before we do that let's label them so this is going to be we'll call this the bell arp and we'll call this the bell sequencer okay so now let's go over here and let's start drawing some notes in so what we'll do is we'll have it start right about here this is going to act kind of like a fill. Okay. We're also going to draw in a sequence here that's going to cover the same duration. And we will also, on the um, oscillator one and two balance, is we will draw a clip that's four bars long. And we'll go into that clip. And we're going to draw some notes or some automation parameters that go up here all the way across to about here and then goes down so let's just edit this a little let's move this up to there move this up to here and now that we've got that done we'll copy this over and now it's going to sound something like this um, well you're not going to hear it unless we not solo these. Let's close these. Let's play that. And now we'll play it from over here. Okay. It sounds pretty good, but it sounds a little harsh. So what we'll do is we'll um, select the Thor, right click, and we'll create a reverb. Let's create the advanced reverb. Let's go down here. Let's move the dry wet to about 48. Let's take the algorithm to be a spring algorithm. Let's move this in a little bit. And now let's play it. We'll also move the volume down a little bit. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. And of course, we're going to have to go back here. I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to select, uh, let's select all of these, and let's hold the control key down to copy them over. And we'll start it from about there, maybe a little bit. Let's take this. Take that one, let's move it in just about there. So now it's going to sound like this. Now we also have to take this and move it over a little bit this over here so that the drum roll starts right where we want it to. Okay, so that works pretty well. Um, what we are also going to do is these hi-hats, um, they sound rather tinny. If we solo them, they sound very static. So if you just play them through. So it's what we'll do on this, let's just put our loop marks here, and I'm holding down control and hitting up here in the uh, in the 
um, time signature area or in the bar area and then I'm also going to hold alt down and click here and that's just going to play through this series and since this is soloed we're just going to hear the hi-hats okay I'm going to loop it and I'm going to go back into the hi-hats I'm going to borrow the curve which we don't have a curve set up yet I'm going to flip it around change it to bipolar and I'm going to just draw in a few sequences Okay, and then flip it around again. I'm going to show my subtractor. I'm going to hold down the control key and create another spider CV merger splitter. Send the curve into the split. Send one of the splits into filter one frequency. Increase it a little bit. Send another split into the filter one resonance. And now you can hear a little bit of modulation happening. So now they don't sound so static. And you can also increase it a little bit. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So now that's so far so good. So um, I'll stop there and we'll continue on with this in our next part, part nine, where I'm going to go into uh, creating a couple of other things along the way. Um, one thing I'm also going to do while I'm here, I'm going to reduce the BPM, the tempo, down to 92. Because I think that's kind of a better speed for things. Um, so just keep in mind you can always change that tempo um, at any point in time in your track, especially if you're working with uh, pattern music because it's it'll all fold into the same tempo. Um, all the tracks will be the same tempo and they'll all work together. So um, that's what I'm going to do on this track. And uh, come back where I will show you a little bit more about how to finish off this track and how to keep moving with it. But at least you've learned how to create an ARP with the an arpeggiator with the Matrix. So, um, yeah, come back. I'm Rob, and uh, you can visit me at reason101.net. Thanks for watching.